As communication services providers, or CSPs, expand their RAND footprint to enhance connectivity and services, a major challenge to this journey is the control of the total cost of ownership, or TCO. Deploying new RAND sites not only means costs associated with investments on equipment, but also an increase in day-to-day -day operations costs, where energy consumption in the RAN accounts for a significant part of this OPEX. So as CSPs transform their networks to deliver on these promises of bandwidth and connectivity, they see in RAN programmability an opportunity to apply innovation to solve this difficult cost-related problem. To help our customers in this effort, VMware introduces VMware Energy Savings R app. Powered by VMware Centralized RIC, this application minimizes power consumption in the controlled cell sites while ensuring RAN's optimal performance. Capable of detecting cell traffic usage, this R app intelligently powers down unused cells to reduce energy consumption without impacting the overall network performance. This generates immediate OPEX savings. Here's how it is done. In this demonstration, we are going to show how the VMware Energy Savings R app monitors sectors composed of one coverage carrier and four capacity carriers, and how it issues cell activation deactivation instructions to these capacity cells based on the traffic conditions and performance requirements. The test bed is composed of the VMware Centralized RIC running on Amazon EKS with VMware Energy Savings R app developed using the VMware SDK. The VMware RIC Management System, or RMS, responsible for configuring and monitoring the health and performance of RICs and RMs. And finally, the simulators reporting performance and specific cell configurations per carrier. Let's activate this test bay. First, we validate that VMware Centralized RIC and VMware Energy Savings R app are running. Then, we log into VMware RMS, the RIC Management System, to check on the status and health of the RIC and the R app. The RMS shows a healthy VMware centralized RIC that is controlling a large cluster of cell sites, as shown on the map. Each cell is identified by an ID and the type of frequency band used. Clicking on Applications in the RMS GUI, we see the inventory of applications, X apps and R apps available. To complete the validation of our testbed, we open the VMware Energy Savings R app and we verify the attributes of the application and its health. It all looks good. Let's activate the algorithm and check the results. The activity logs of the Energy Savings R app show that the application is active and has been ingesting performance and configuration counters from the monitored cells for an entire day and issuing indications about the activation or inactivation of the capacity cells. Using the performance view, we can zoom in on a particular cell site and visualize the impact of the R app on the activation deactivation states of a capacity cell. In this demo, we will focus on 5G or NR frequency bands. As shown, each one of our sectors has five NR frequency bands, one used for coverage, band 28, and the other four used for capacity. The map shows three sectors per cell site with five carriers per sector. The inner ring represents the coverage carrier, and the outer rings represent the four capacity carriers. We see that all rings are marked as green, meaning that given the traffic conditions at this time of day, 9 a.m., all capacity cells are active. However, looking at a time of day when traffic is low, like 11 p.m., we see some of the outer rings changing color to gray, indicating that some of the capacity cells have been turned off following the instructions from the VMware Energy Savings R app. Clicking on a specific capacity cell, we can see the traffic conditions and exact times when the VMware Energy Savings R app instructed the cell to be turned on or off. The bottom chart shows the number of UE connections, user traffic, reported to the R app via the RIC at any given time. The top chart shows the percentage of energy saving at any given time. As user traffic decreases around the cell site and falls below a threshold, the percentage of energy savings increases due to the action of the VMware Energy Savings R app turning off unnecessary capacity cells. We also see that once the traffic around the cell site increases and exceeds a threshold, 
The R-app then turns on the necessary capacity cells to handle the increased capacity. In this chart, we can see the instances when the cell status changes between active and inactive states. In this demo, we have seen how the VMware Energy Savings R-App monitors and evaluates traffic conditions of cell sites to decide when to turn off underutilized capacity cells, producing immediate energy savings and without compromising RAND performance.